Okay, I've been using Vim all week now, near Vim even. Let's have a look at how we can do comments. So I've installed a plugin today, 3 slash cn, and that's commented it out. I think there probably is a way how you can do automatic paragraphs, so to speak, but this is doing for now. So 3 backslash cu, and it uncomments it. 3 backslash cn, there we go. So I commented that out. And then say I wanted to do this one as well. Three backslash C N. And then I want to uncomment the top one. Three backslash C U. There we go. So when I installed it, I used something called plug install. And you can see it there. Nerd commenter. So if we go into I'm managing all this through init.vim. <laughs> Sorry about that. So if we go to vim and then it's .config. This seems very convoluted, but you soon get used to it. If you press tab a second time, it offers you the choices. So this is what I've what I'm now using. I'll discuss the plugin. So the plugin is on line three. Preserve Vim Nerd Commenter. So if you just Google for Nerd Commenter, and then you'll end up at GitHub, and then you just follow the install instructions. Um, make sure you are using init.vim as your plugin manager or your plugin configuration file rather than Lua. Lua is the alternative. Nothing against it, but I'm just finding in it dot vim slightly more straightforward to learn. So next, color scheme. You've seen that already. No remap. So what I'm using is the n or the no is um normal mode, normal. So it's normal map map in normal mode. So I've set Control S to be save. I'm using F3 on my keyboard to so F3 is actually running colon or space colon exclamation mark cargo space R. And you only need to do R, you don't need to type run. That's just me being minimalist. Um colon V E, that's F2. So I could actually run that now. There you go. What it doesn't do is toggle. So if I if I press it again. You see, I get a second window, so I might, at one point, I might look at how you can make it toggle. But control X, Control X, that's for cargo format. And, yeah, file type plugin on, that line there, sorry. I had to add as part of the instructions to get nerd commenter running. I do occasionally get issues with this, and I think it's because I spilt coffee all over my keyboard once, and um, it's never been the same since. I need a new one, so if anyone wants to donate me 50, 100, 150 pounds, then I'll buy an amazing new keyboard. Right, so there we go. That's a quick round. Oh, the only other thing was I've been learning some new shortcuts as well, because... Vim is unbelievable when you start getting into it. So the um the best one I found today, which was uh, it wasn't something I read about. It was just something I thought, oh, it'd be cool if you could just go back to where you just were. So um the double, what's it called? The back tick. So just below your escape on your keyboard. So it goes to the most. It goes to the previous place where you were in the file. So it's two two back ticks. If I press it again, it will go to where I just was. So it kind of toggles between those two places. So it goes from uh, where you are now to where you are minus one. And then it obviously just keeps toggling between those two. So if I go um, 5J, now if I toggle it, it will go back to where I was just a second ago and it won't go right up to the top. Oh, tell a lie, it goes right to the top. Anyway, that's that's me just fiddling. So yeah, double tilled, it takes you to your previous location. 
it's not something you kind of see on many videos so anyway that's probably enough for now thanks for watching and i'll be back with some more stuff soon thanks